we're doing now is going back to basics. This time it's a bunch of keys. So I'm handling them and in doing so I'm putting human scent because contrary to popular opinion I am a human. We're putting pop human scent onto these keys. And obviously over a period of time we need different people to handle items. So we've got to go back to basics. We've got to teach the dog to fetch hey. these keys. Fetch. Here. Having got the dog, obviously Ellie's already trained, we're just using her as an example here. Having got the dog comfortable picking these up, we can now hide these keys. Now again, as I say, the dog knows where I'm going. We're building a pattern sit. We're building a pattern of behaviour. then it might be that you want your dog not to touch the item because you don't want it putting damage in any evidence that's on it. So for that we can give the dog a separate command. I actually suggest you teach the dog one or the other, either retrieve or a passive indication, a non-contact. But you can teach both. So a way I might uh, start a dog doing that, and I have a different command for this, for the other one I was using uh, fetch it, for this one I'm going to use seek, so it's a separate command. So I put the toy reward straight in before the dog, Ellie, Ellie, before the dog picks it up. No need for me to go out and move that, I can just move myself. Now we see the dog, it has actually touched it, it's put its paw on it because it's got big feet. But it hasn't tried to pick it up because I've given a different command that I've built a pattern of behaviour to that command. And the pattern of behaviour is, if I go out and find the thing bearing scent when I hear him say see, I get, I get the toy. Ellie. So now what we can do is move on to the next frame and we'll actually cut the item out for her to search for. Okay, good.